Hey guys, and welcome back to Dan's Pro Shop, where everything's made up and the instructions don't matter. Well, for this one, I feel like the instructions are going to be pretty heavily dependent upon because we are going over a digital microscope. I know, I know, I know. Relax before everyone freaks out and be like, yo, Dan the tool man, Dan the science man. No. There is an awesome application for this stuff for us kind of people. We're not looking at white blood cells under slides and stuff, but I'm willing to bet that if you're into this kind of crap, you've probably come across something called a PCB, a printed circuit board. Yeah, you see where I'm going with this stuff? Well, if you got sausage fingers like me, there is no way on God's green earth you can get in there with a pair of tweezers and a soldering iron and see what the heck you're doing. This thing is going to be an amazing addition for the workbench here that we can just have like a perfectly lighted station where we can go in, throw circuit boards, heck, even something as simple as just soldering wires together. These uh, peepers ain't what they used to be when they were 17 years old. You know, we all get older, we all get bigger, we all get slower. Stuff like this helps us continue what we're doing. So let's go ahead, rip into this thing, and we can see what it's all about. Well, right out of the gate here, guys, there is like no information on the box. So clearly you got to do your homework before buying this thing, because if you just saw it on the shelf somewhere, it really wouldn't give you all that much to go off of. So let's just go ahead and get into it. And maybe if I had a knife here somewhere, hold it, hold it, got it, get into this thing, a whole bunch of paperwork as expected. Hey, look at that thing. At least you get a, a kind of a stock image of what this thing is supposed to look like. So we can put it together like a model, you know. But this thing has a, either a 7 or 8 inch uh, LCD or LED monitor. So whatever you're looking at down here, it brings it right up into your teeth here. So you can really see what's going on. I tell you what, I'm really excited to get into this thing. Because I know I'm going to use it. This may be a little odd. I get it, but I tell you what, man, this thing is going to be invaluable, especially the older I get. Seeing stuff more clearly is going to be really nice. So continuing on down into the box here, and this thing's packed up really nice. Look at that, here's our screen. Golly, look at this thing. I'm guessing... This is uh, where the magic happens here. That looks like a lens to me. I tell you what, that screen's a good size. Oh man, that's satisfying. That's like peeling the plastic off a new TV. What do we got here? Yeah, seven inch. So let's just keep going here. Place this thing off to the side real nice so we don't smash it up. Let's see, uh, we have a... Uh, mini HDMI cable. So, all right, I'm guessing that's to transfer image. This uh, looks like some sort of remote for power, maybe light intensity. Some more dunnage. Oh, I got a remote. I guess we'll figure out what that's for. That's what I'm saying. We're probably actually going to have to read the directions on this one as much as I don't like to. We've anyway, got a little toolkit, some tweezers, an Allen wrench. Oh, there even are some slides on here. So there's like some stuff to look at. We'll just see how that works. I mean, I haven't done this since high school chemistry class, but uh, why not, right? Like, uh, maybe like a little Petri dish or something. Uh, USB cord. Oh, mini SD card, 32 gig. That's cool. So that tells me right out of the gate that uh, we can plug a memory card into this thing. And possibly transfer this to your PC or whatever. That That's nice. I mean, just an added little bonus that I didn't know was a thing. That's cool. Some more hardware, some lock nuts. I tell you what, let me go ahead and try to put this thing together so I'm not boring you guys to death and we can see what it looks like assembled. Okay, guys, we got her all put together. 
And you saw with the time lapse there, I mean, I fumbled a little bit, but honestly, I figured it out. And uh, if you guys are like me, this is just what we do, you know? Put post A into hole B, tighten this set screw, yada, yada, yada. Plug it in. And this fancy remote here that we were talking about, see, it has these two cool little work lights. It's a fancy LED. This remote either turns everything on and off, or you can change the intensity of these lights in different increments, which is really nice. I mean, sometimes you don't want that glare, that reflection, so you can do something like that. And I tell you what, check this out. A regular 1032 machine screw. I'm going to throw this thing under here, and it's going to blow your freaking mind how this turned into a picture bigger than a billboard. Let's go ahead and take a look at what it looks like. Can you guys see that? I just turned a 1032 machine screw into a half 13 bolt. Let me bring you in here a little bit closer so you can really see what's going on. You guys see this? I just placed the screw on the viewing area here. And look at that. Look at my finger. This is freaking awesome. And then this knurled area here on the end of the microscope, that's what changes your focus. It's really user-friendly, super honestly easy to use. I mean, you just put whatever you want to down here. You adjust your light as needed. And then you just change the focus on the lens. And the cool thing, this setup here on the back, you see like this whole rack system that's holding the screen? This thing turns up and down. So, I mean, this is another way that you can get focus or if you have something larger that you need to see more of a viewing area. But, I mean, you have the ability, you can move this entire thing up and down on this post here. Or, you can, like, fine-tune it with this knob. I tell you what, this thing is super snazzy, and I was not expecting to like it as much as I do. So, let's go ahead and throw something else under here. Like, uh, I have a breadboard over here with some stuff in it I was just messing around with the other day. Let's throw that in here and see what it looks like. Get this screw out of the road. Oh my goodness. Have you guys ever in your life viewed a resistor that clean, clear, and right up in your face? Oh my goodness. This is going to absolutely change the way I go about digital electronics. Look at this. Huh? How many times have you picked up a resistor and you're like, oh, what is it? I can't see those little ribbons. I don't... Come on, this is just like having it on the TV in your living room. This is absolutely amazing. So if you guys can look at this thing, like, the way it... I'm sure that you guys have dealt with breadboards before. You know, just putting together little circuits, nothing crazy. Like, this is just an eight-segment eight display that goes through a chip and goes up and down. It's nothing fancy, but still, something like this. This can be difficult to do with just a pair of tweezers and, you know, using what God gave you. With this thing right here, holy crap... There is no more guessing. You can see everything. And that focus aspect is really nice. Like, let's say that I want to see the holes in the breadboard behind the resistors. All I do, change the focus. Look at that. How freaking cool is that? And if I want to move the head up and down to get a little bit closer look, or move it away so I can get more of a broad image, dude, I'm telling you, this is absolutely going to be a lifesaver. So I tell you guys what, since we're here, just for giggles, they gave us these slides in the kit here. Let's just throw them under there and see what they look like. I am the furthest thing from a scientist or a biologist or anything, so I have absolutely no idea what the heck we're going to look at. But we're going to throw them in here and just see what it is. Why not? Well, guys, evidently you saw there that whatever this lens is isn't powerful enough for this kind of stuff. So, it does come with other stuff in the kit here. Object distance, 45 meters. Object, so, this is how they rate these things. And this one here, object distance, 90 to 300. So, let's go ahead and throw this one in here and see what that changes. You simply just take out these thumb screws on the side here. Now, keep a hand on this thing because it'll want to drop whenever you're done. Pull this out, make sure your letters are facing forward, 
and just uh, change your lens there. It'll index too. It has a little notch in there so you can't put it in the wrong way. Okay guys, I finally figured this out. First of all, you need this giant mamma jamma like magnifying lens. And then, whenever you're doing slide stuff like this, it comes with this extra little snazzy thing. So the power cord that does these work lights down here, you just unplug that and then plug this thing in. It sits on the base here and then it has like a crazy light in it. It concentrates it much more. So you put your slide on top of there and then it gives you a much clearer image of what's going on. Take a look at the screen here. This thing is a, uh, a pine stem. So I'm guessing like a pine needle cut apart. But look at that. When are you ever going to see what a pine needle looks like? But now you can. Let's see what else we got in this set here. Epidermis of an onion, a honeybee wing, a honeybee leg, and compound of an eye. I don't even know what that is. Let's go ahead and look at the wing. Oh, dude. Look at that. When have you ever seen the wing of a bee. Hey, let me bring you guys in closer to the screen so you can really see what I'm seeing. Do you see how cool this is? Man, you can really get in there and look at whatever you want to. There's another one here that's a leg. Huh? A leg of a honeybee? Holy cow, look at that! Look at all the, like, the fuzzies and stuff on there. I wonder if we bring this thing in closer, we can really get in on her. Oh, wow. Look at that. I mean, poor Mr. B that got his leg ripped off just so we could have a YouTube video. But look at that. Did you ever know that there was all kinds of crud on the leg of a bee? Ugh. Whatever, but at least we know that this thing works and how accurate accurately it works So guys just for giggles I plugged the work lights back in and then put the breadboard back underneath man. You thought you could see resistors before Look at that Man, I tell you what this is gonna be absolutely life-changing in the stuff that I do every day Like look here. You want to see the print on the top of your chip? Look at that, huh? No more squinting to read stuff. The eight segment display. Man, this is just absolutely freaking awesome. So guys, in conclusion, what do I think of the Joe Allen's digital microscope? I think it's freaking awesome. Obviously, this isn't something that I or probably you is going to use every day, but if you get into this more in-depth digital electronic stuff like we did here with this breadboard, I mean, we're not building rocket ships here, but just stuff like this, why make it harder on yourself when you can make that resistor the size of a freaking fishing lure? This thing is absolutely awesome, and you saw that you can do the more tech science stuff with it too, but that's not why we're here today. And take a look at the screen. Can you see what that is? Huh? This is the RGB LEDs in the screen of my phone. You want to take a guess at what that is? Yeah, you just looked at the individual pixels of color that create the YouTube logo on the home screen of my phone. How freaking cool is this? Heck, even if you want to get this thing just to play around with it, I tell you what, this is probably a good way to get younger kids into liking this kind of stuff. Like, get them excited about it. You know, like, hey, you want to see what a bee is made out of? I mean, come on. This thing isn't all that expensive, but I think for what you get out of it, it's honestly worth it for that couple times that you may really need it. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this thing as much as I know that I'm going to, because I know there are going to be instances where I'm going to need this thing and be happy that I have it. So if you guys are interested, check out the links in the description below to see how you can get one for yourself today. And we will see you guys next time.